To set the pump into the 4 to 20 milliamp mode, press the No key until current signal is displayed, and then press the Yes key. The high rate setting sets the speed that the pump will run for at the high signal setting that we will set here in a moment. This means that the pump will run at 100% speed for the high signal setting. The low rate setting sets the pump speed that you want the pump to run for whenever it receives the low signal setting, which we are going to program here in a moment. This means that whenever the pump receives a low signal setting, it's going to run at 0% speed. You can change this with the up and down arrows on the side if you like. Set the low rate setting, and the pump will now prompt us to set the high signal setting. This is the milliamp signal that the pump will run at the high rate for which can be changed using the up and down arrow keys. To set the low signal setting, you are setting the milliamp signal that will cause the pump to run at the low rate setting that we set previously. Again, this can be changed with the up and down arrow keys. If you know what the milliamp signal is, it's coming from the device that's controlling the pump. You can actually calibrate the pump to match the milliamp input signal. If we press yes, it'll tell us what the signal is that's being received and what we want the calibration value to be. Once the calibration is set, simply press the yes key. Then the pump will prompt us to run in the 4 to 20 milliamp mode. To run the pump in the 4 to 20 milliamp mode, simply press the yes key. The pump will then operate responding to the 4 to 20 milliamp signal as we just programmed it for. The pump displays that it's receiving 20.4 milliamps at the moment and running at 100% speed. As the milliamp signal is decreased, the pump speed also decreases proportionally based on the way that we programmed the high and low rate settings. If the signal, for some reason, drops below 3.8 milliamps for an extended period of time, the pump will go into a signal error message which indicates that the unit has lost the signal from the sending device or there may be something wrong with the cable. When the current signal is restored back to a normal reading, the pump will come out of that alarm and resume normal operation.